You tuned in once again to the famous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we do right. Okay, this is the this is live. This is live. I know all y'all been out there, y'all have been like, Trend, is this live? Y'all been looking at the premiere videos. Y'all been like, yo, Trend, is this live, dog? Is this live? I be seeing y'all ass down there in the comment section. Just to let y'all know, all them videos y'all thought was live, I have been seeing y'all ass down in the comment section. Like, is this live? Is this live? Oh, I finally caught him live. I finally caught him live. No, I was, I was not live, but I was watching y'all. Big brother be watching y'all, man. Listen, it's your big bro, Trend Genius. What's up, y'all? What's up? We live today. This is real live right here. You know how it's live because I'm looking at y'all comments right now. What's up, uh, Darlene? What's up, Trippy Boy? What's up, Jennifer, Cameron, Tracy, Musa, Lady Ree, Carlton, Quick Beats. I see y'all. Listen. Y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Say, listen. 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 Listen, y'all. Listen. I don't know where y'all at right now. Hey, if you in here right now, get this video a thumbs up for Big Bro. But listen, I don't know where y'all at right now, but y'all got to tell everybody. Tell everybody to be quiet, because y'all know what we about to do. We about to talk business. Star Seeds, what we doing? Constantly co-creating our own reality, man. They still wondering how we doing this shit. They still wondering how we do this shit. Okay, if you in here right now, give this video a big bro, a big, give big bro a thumbs up, man. Give this video a thumbs up. If you in here right now, please give this video a thumbs up. Do not call my phone, clients. Do not call. If you call my phone, I'm gonna charge you three hundred dollars. If you call my phone, do not call my phone right now. If you don't call my phone, I'll give you a discount on the next session that we have. All right, it's your big brother, Trend Genius, man. Listen, so. Uh, listen, I'm live. I see y'all. I see y'all writing. I see Tracy. I see you. Oh, Trees, Tarot, Shoulders. I see y'all. I see y'all. But listen, let me just let me talk to y'all for a second before I get into this topic because I'm gonna tell you some real shit, man. I'm gonna tell you. You been seeing it with your own two eyes, but people be trying their hardest to ignore you. They try their hardest to ignore you. Okay. They know you the one. They know you the one. Hey, Anthony, why are you going to get up? My boy Anthony going to get an appointment with me right when he on live. See, he's scheduling an appointment already because we on live. <laughs> Where they do that? Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Shout out to Anthony Hall, man. He just scheduled an appointment with me on Square. I'll be calling you after this video, Anthony. All right? My man, Anthony. But anyway, um, so... I'm going to just let y'all know, man. People be trying their hardest to ignore you, man. They, they do. They do. And I got 11 to 15 reasons as to why in this video, I'm about to explain to you all of the reasons why people try so hard to ignore you. See, they know you're the chosen one. Listen, don't it feel so good to be chosen? Like, then, then you think about that when you woke up this, when you woke up this morning. When you went in the bathroom and you brush your teeth or, you know, you went in the bathroom and you took your shower or you put your clothes on. Some of y'all went to work. But when you when you woke up this morning, you was like, I'm chosen. I'm chosen. <laughs> I'm chosen. Universe, what are you going to do for me today? I know you was thinking that. You was like, yo, universe, what are you going to do for me today? Because you know you chosen. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like we all like it's like it's like you all you already know that something special is going to happen for you every single day. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, oh. Listen, man, listen. Okay, for anyway, anyway y'all listen. So I know a lot of y'all been like asking like, big bro, what's up with your face? I don't know if y'all can see my face, man. Y'all see my face, man? Look. Y'all see my face? You know, look, look at the redness around my face and shit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, listen, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. All right? 
So I went to a I went to a dermatologist. Uh, I went to a dermatologist. Um, was it two days ago? Was it two days ago or was it yesterday, boo? Yesterday. I went to a dermatologist yesterday, right? And um, they told me that it came from wearing a mask because the bacteria that I was uh, exhaling in the mask was coming back onto my face. And I have this rash around my whole, my nose and my mouth. I don't know if y'all been noticing it on videos or whatever, but they prescribed me this shit called, uh, look it up. It's called ketoconazole. Ketoconazole. So I'm good. They said it is common, but this shit come from wearing these funky ass masks, man. And, and, and I just want y'all to know uh, big brother is good. Cause I know a lot of y'all was like, yo, Trim, man, why your face be, look, why your nose red? Somebody commented on my video was like, your nose red. I can tell you aggravated and you frustrated. What's going on? You need to repent to God because your nose is turning red, Trim. Now I can pray for you if you want me to pray for you. going on in your life that you're not telling me now. Somebody doing black magic on you, twin. Now, now, that twin, now you can tell me what it is. I'll pray for you. <laughs> Damn Decepticon, man. Damn Decepticon trying to make me feel bad about my face when it was really all the mass and the bacteria. But anyway, they prescribed, they prescribed me something at the dermatologist, man. They gave me something at the dermatologist. They say it's gonna clear up in like two weeks, so big brother face gonna be back, right? You know I'm light skin shit. We we all got skin problems, light skin people. Anyway, so we about to get into this topic, man. This is this is a super chat. This is a live chat. Um, if you in here right now, I need to get this video a thumbs up. This is the first time y'all don't caught Big Brother live. If this your first time catching Big Brother Live, get this video a thumbs up right now because we about to talk business. Listen. Listen. So. So listen, man. Let me get close to y'all so y'all can see me clearly because I'm about to talk some real shit. Listen. Listen, man. If you ain't noticed this shit already, you're going to start noticing it. All right. But when you when you are chosen one, all right, when you specially selected. Damn, that Red Bull made me burn. But anyway, when you specially selected, man, people going to start acting really strange. They're going to start acting real strange. All right. People are going to start to ignore you. All right. If you if you the type of if you the type of person you carry yourself with pride, you know, you know, you carry yourself with pride. You really love yourself. Like, you really love yourself. Now, all that, all your life, they've been telling you don't love yourself. They've been telling you to sh don't say nothing. Shh, be quiet. Don't tell yourself you good. Don't tell yourself that you look better. Don't 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 put no rims on your car. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't go to the store and shop too much. Don't shop too much. Don't shop too much. Don't shop too much. If you've been around people all your life that's been like that, you know what I'm saying? They've been trying to dim your light. That's because you was always lit from the moment you came out. You was always lit, all right? You just was around, you was just around people that's just trying to dim your light all the whole time, all right? But see, most of y'all, y'all, most of y'all don't awaken from that sleep. Most of y'all don't awaken, y'all like, yo, okay, I'm chosen, dog. I can't hide this shit no longer, you know what I'm saying? So you like, I can't, I can't hide this shit no more. How many of y'all feel like that? How many of y'all feel like, man, look, man, look. Shit, I'm smart. I'm, I'm smart. What you want me to do? I can't act dumb no more. I can't be quiet no more. I'm not going to be quiet no more. I, I, I'm not going to tell y'all how ugly y'all is. Not no more. It's shit, if you're ugly, you're ugly. With two Y's. Ugly. Y'all ugly. Huh? You know what I'm saying? We can't hide this shit no more. We can't hide it. it. We smart, period. You know what I mean? And so, see, and see, that's and see, that's why so many, 
And see, that's why so many people avoid you. That's why so many people judge you. That's why so many people ignore you because they know that you see who they truly are. See, y'all when y'all gotta understand this shit, man. Listen to Big Bro, man. Listen. Y'all gotta say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Listen. Listen, when you be out in this public places and y'all ever spotted people looking at you on the sneak tip, like, and they and they and they be trying to and they be trying to hide the fact that they looking at you. They be eating some food or some shit. They be like, like what they really want to say is, I know you see me for who I truly am. I know you see me looking at you. But see, I can't, I can't accept the fact, I can't accept the fact that you know that I'm full of shit. Right? That's what they really want to say. They can't, they, they really want to say, I can't accept the fact that I'm looking at you because I know you the shit. And the reason why I'm looking at you and I can't look at you the way that you want me to look at you because I know I'm full of shit. I'm just keeping it real. Half of the people that be looking, looking at y'all be looking up to y'all because you are who they want to be. Okay? You who most people want to be. It don't matter where the hell you at. You could be at the Uber. You could be at the mall. Shit, you could be walking through the back of the alley. Okay? You could be at the VIP. When people is looking at you, they like, damn, I wish I was in the VIP one day. I wish I was in the VIP one day. Shit, I was in the VIP last night. Listen, I was in the VIP last night. Just me and my girl. We was in the VIP last night. Now, mind you, everybody else in their VIPs had 10, 15 people. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you why people ignore you. Everybody else in their VIP had 10 to 15 people in their VIP. In our VIP, we had two people and didn't even have no, a lot of, we didn't have no bottles or none of that shit. But as soon as we step in the VIP, somebody came and took away our VIP and said, hey, you guys can't stand here because we got 10 people that want to come here and, and we got to let them get in here. You, you, can you guys move? They try so hard to dim the chosen one's light, okay? Listen, listen, chosen ones, you're going to get ignored everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you're going to get ignored, all right? It's a part of the process of hate, all right? But it's actually jealousy. It's actually that they love you, but they hate you at the same time. You ever been around somebody and they can't look at you in your eyes? They can't even look at you in your eyes. You be talking to them and they be like, That's because they jealous. They that's because they jealous of you. All right. You pack, you pack so much power, you have so strong of an intuition that they know that if they look at you, you will see who they truly are. See, they they hide themselves from you. You know what I mean? To conceal the hate that they have towards you. They some Decepticons. Listen, hey, give this video a thumbs up if you in here right now. And if you tuned in to your big brother, Trend G, this is live. I'm really live right now, Chastity. I'm live. She said, LOL, damn. This is a super chat. So if y'all, if y'all, if I helped y'all channel out, I mean, goddamn, see, look, I'm, I'm thinking I'm y'all. I don't even think I'm me. Sometimes I think I'm y'all. Shit, I don't even think I'm me sometimes. I love y'all star seeds so much. Sometimes I think I'm y'all. But if y'all want to donate to Big Brother Channel, man, just hit that super chat button and just click the donate button, all right? If y'all want to join my membership, just join the membership and just donate to Big Brother Channel. Listen, man, listen. So, okay, so listen, okay, so, yeah, yeah. I know they're going to knock on the door right now, okay? I got some company, y'all. I got some company. I got some company. I know I'm live. I already told them. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Hey. Hi. Hi. Here's the mailbox. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. This thing was squeaking like crazy the other day. Yeah, you know. Watch out. Listen, man. It's your big but brother, Trend Genius, man. Now. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. So listen. Okay. Wait, oh, thank you. Okay. There's some water, yeah. And then that's the only key I got to the mailbox. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yes. So listen, listen. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. No, they, no, that what they was doing. They was delivering me some water for my water machine. I got a water machine that um, it needs water in it. Like you got to put this big ass thing of water. In. You get the big thing of water. No. It's out there on the front porch, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. So they delivered this big ass thing of water. Well, I got to put it into my water machine. I got a water machine, okay? Like where it filters all my water and shit like that. And so like. Let me see that water thing, babe. All right, look at this right here. This is my water shit, because I drink a lot of water. So for those of you who want to know what the hell big bro got going on over there, I got a water machine and I got to get that filter water, that, that process shit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, so back to what we were saying, man. Y'all lost me, Starseeds. Listen, they think we can't detect them. Uh, bro, you really got my light ignited for my YouTube channel this year and my birthday in three days. Everyone have been annoying me. Okay, bro, they, gonna, they ain't never going to give you no birthday gifts. Ask yourself this, Starcy. Ask yourself this, Chosen One. Listen, and give me a thumbs up if I'm right. Give this video a thumbs up if I'm right. Ask yourself, when the last time somebody threw a birthday party for your ass? I'm going to sip on that and wait. Hmm? When the last time somebody threw a, a scrapaganza for you? When the last time somebody threw a big birthday bash for you? When the last time somebody made a cookout for you when you came back home? Huh? When the last time they did something for you? When the last time somebody gave you a surprise party? Okay? A celebration station with a goat cause where you can play in the little play pens. When the last time somebody did something like that for you? Can you can you can somebody say yes or no? If, if you ain't never had that for you, say no. If you had that for you, say yes. Because if you say yes, then you don't need to be watching this video. I'm probably going to block your ass. Alright? No. No. No, no, Carson said no, never, 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 never. All right, but but check this out, Starcy. But check this out. But check this out. Am I right or am I wrong? Say yes or no after I say this. Am I right or am I wrong? But isn't it funny? Because when they have a baby shower, oh, isn't it funny? Because when they have something going on, when they about to get married, when they have a reception. When they want to go out to the party and celebrate, don't they always call you and they want you to come and be a part with the fuck they got going on? Huh? And look, and see, the funny thing about it all is you always do it. You always do it. But what have they given you? Not a damn dime. Not nothing. Okay. Some of y'all don't even believe. Some of y'all say, oh, Tran, he just gassing people up. I was in Philadelphia walking down the street. This nigga walked past me talking about Tran be gassing people up. Oh, bum ass. He bum dirty ass nigga too. And he watched me too. He just can't understand. See, he not chosen, but he trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? He just trying to figure it out. He, he wasn't chosen, but he's just trying to figure out. Like, is he chosen or is he not chosen? So I'm walking down Philadelphia. I'm walking down uh, South Street in Philadelphia. For those, shouts out to all my Philadelphia people out there. I love y'all a whole lot. I love them cheese steaks y'all got. Shouts out to LaVonda for that $100 donation. She's, she's generous. She gonna get the money back anyway. Girl, you gonna get the money back. Right? We circulate the shit. So I'm walking down South Street. This dude come back, come past me and was like, <clears throat> trying to be gassing people up. I'm like, what the? Huh? What they do that at? Then he said it again. Like, I, I had to edit the video. If you subscribe to my um new vlog, you will see on the new vlog, after I got through talking to the girls on the new vlog or whatever, the group of people and the girls on the new vlog, he was like, Tran be gassing people up. Then he walked past me. I mean, he got, he walked behind me some more. He was like, Tran be gassing people up. He be gassing people so he thought I was gonna turn around and retaliate. Nigga, I don't react to you Decepticons. See, that's the thing about these Decepticons. If they can get your ass to react, they win. And your ass go to jail. Or you catch a charge. 
And those little, and I know some of y'all got charges. I know some of y'all got some damn charges. Some of y'all got some records out there, man. Y'all ain't all innocent, man. It be the most positive people be the most damn guilty people. Y'all is not innocent. Especially y'all girls. Y'all be like, I ain't never did nothing from you. They be like, how many, how many boyfriends you got? And you know, I don't got none. I think I get one. Henry's all right. Yeah, but you know, I really like you though. I really like the thing that you're doing and you're so talented and so good. You lying. You just lying. You lying. You be lying like a motherfucker. They be lying. <laughs> the chosen ones be turning into Decepticons sometimes, man. Listen. But anyway, real talk though. Listen to this, man. Hey, if you in here right now, give this video a thumbs up, man. It's your big brother, Tran G. I'm live. I'm lit, lit, live. Red Bull got me on some other shit today. Uh, Enrique Valia. Shouts out to my boy Enrique, man. I be seeing you all the time, man. He done actually bought a session for me at one point. I remember him. I remember him. Clean record. Clean record as fuck. Cops always let me go. Been pulled over drunk so many times. Man, you better stop drinking, boy. Enrique, you better stop drinking, man. <laughs> I would love a great guy. Hold on. What did you say? Who is that? Who is that? Miss Lady. Miss Lady say, say, I would love a great guy to come towards me. Ooh. 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 I wouldn't want to approach that chosen one. She chosen. She chosen. You touch her, you might get shot. You touch Lady Say, you might get shot. Shouts out to... Uh, Shouts out to Keo. I see you. But anyway, let's get back to this topic. Let's talk about this shit real quick. Because I want y'all to understand something. Because I know y'all about to finish the rest of y'all day. What time is it? It's 12.56. So it's 1 o'clock. 1, 2, 3. It's 3 o'clock on the East Coast right now. Shouts out to my East Coast people out there on the East Coast. Maryland, uh, North Carolina, Miami Beach, Virginia, Alabama. Shouts out to my Texas people. Shouts out to all my mid-resting people, Indiana, all y'all, okay? Shouts out to all my California people, even though nobody want to go to California right now because this shit is a wildfire, all right? It's a wildfire, all right? But chosen ones, you got to understand, everywhere you go, you just going to naturally intimidate people, man, okay? You're going to intimidate people. And, 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 and see, it ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, you just the chosen one. You just the chosen one. You just chosen. You know? So people not gonna know how to deal with that shit. Some people come from so much fuck fuckery that when they see your realism, they don't even know how to approach it. Some people been reading like superficial fiction books all their life, sci-fi, fantasy. When they finally read a fucking self-development book, this shit be like some alien language. Uh-huh. How to, uh, uh, if I say, if I speak things into existence, it's going to really happen? Huh? Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, I'm scared of that. I don't think, I don't want to read this book anymore. I don't want to read this book anymore. I just want to go back to fantasy where everything is all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they finally see, when they finally see you, they like, hold on. They like, hold on. This person is very confident. Okay, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the type of person, you're not, you've grown out of the stage and the age where you used to go around people and used to be scared. Like, I wonder what they think about me. Y'all was in that phase at one point. You was in that phase at one point. You was like, man, I don't know, man. I don't know if I go, I'm going to just be quiet. I'm not going to say nothing. No, no, no. I'm not going to say the prayer for the, for the supper. No, I'm not going to say the prayer for the supper. Because if I say that goddamn prayer for the supper, I'm going to goddamn say the prayer for the supper. Now your ass be standing right next to the pastor. You gonna say the prayer, pastor? You want me to say it or you gonna say it? You know what I'm saying? Now y'all be stepping up. Now y'all be going out. Y'all be showing y'all true colors. Now you be expressing yourself. You be talking about what you do. Yeah, I do this, I do that, I do that. You gonna sign up for my business? Yeah. You got that going on? Yeah, I got that going on. You got, okay, we gonna link up. All right, dog. Yeah, holla at me. Get, take my number down. Yeah, I'm on the scene now. I'm out here now. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Listen, man. I know you got that confidence now, but guess what? That confidence intimidates people, whether you want to believe it or not. That confidence really intimidates people. Because they look at you, they be like, yo, I want to be like that. 
That's why people be looking at you and they be ignoring you. They be acting like they looking at you. You know what I mean? But they really looking at you, but they be ignoring you at the same time because they could be looking at you because they see that you a confident woman. They like, damn, you know, I'm very insecure. But how does she wear her clothes like that? How does she wear her hair like that? How, how did she do that? And then that's the moment they want to come up to you. They want to get to know you. They want to become your friend. They want to get get to know you, get get your number. They want to know who you dating. They want to know who you married to. They want to know where you work at. Because they want your, they want what you got. And that's confidence. Because at the very beginning, you intimidate them, girl. You intimidate them. That's why you don't got a lot of friends. See, some of y'all women don't got a lot of friends because y'all intimidating. You don't just intimidate guys. <laughs> Ray Ray ain't gonna come walk up to your way. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nah, dog, 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 nah. Hey, man, go get her, no, don't go get her, no. Uh-uh, no, you go get it, dog. You go get it. No, dog, I'm good on that one. Bro, go get her number, bro. No, nigga, I'm gonna get the net girl. I'm gonna get the net girl. Come on, dog. Nigga, they don't wanna come to you, dog. They don't wanna walk to you. Because you got high standards. What's that shit called? The S S M V? S um, uh, uh what 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 do you call it? What do you call it? The something, the 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 what's your what's your value? Uh, something. Uh, sexual, sh sexual. They they don't come to you because your sexual marketplace value is too high. Thank you, producer. My producer knows some shit. They don't come to you because your sexual marketplace value is too high. They can't approach you. These niggas is bums. <laughs> These niggas is bums. Niggas only got enough money to buy a Red Bull. They want to come to you. And they want to ride in your car. <laughs> so you can take them to the store and get them a Red Bull. <laughs> I was thirsty. Baby, I was thirsty, baby. <laughs> I was thirsty. I really want to get to know you, though. Now, I love you now. <laughs> Listen, it's your big brother, Trend G, man. You tuned in to my live. Y'all finally caught me live, man. I'm here. I'm live and direct. I see all y'all's comments, man. I see all y'all comments. Pimp the gravy. <laughs> she laughing. This is a live chat. If you in here right now, give this video a thumbs up if you rocking with Big Brother Trend Jeans, man. Give this video a thumbs up if you rocking with me right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's take it up to 600. We got almost 700 people live in this binner. I don't say bitch no more. I say binner. <laughs> I say binner. <laughs> Listen, man, get this video a thumbs up right now if you rocking with the best, man. Trend Jeans, we're on the Famous Living Room Network because we the chosen ones. They can't stand us. They can't stand us. They can't stand me. I just thought about that. They can't stand me. Hey, hey, listen. Any... Give me a yes or no. Give me a yes or no. Give me a yes or no. I need somebody to give me a yes or no. Don't lie. Don't lie. Give me a yes or no. Give me a yes or no. Don't lie. Don't lie, Star Seed. When's the last? Did somebody from your family call you this morning? I'll wait. I'll wait. Yes or no? I'm going to look. Nope. Somebody say nope. Okay, let me make it a little bit more detailed, okay? So for some of y'all that's saying yes. Did your daddy or your mama call you this morning? Huh? Let me do that. Let me say that. Huh? Oh, oh let me make it a little bit more more detailed for y'all that's still saying yes. Did your brother or sister call you and say, hey, big brother, hey, big sister, hey, little sister, how you doing? Did they call you? Did they give a fuck? Did they give a fuck about you? Hmm. I'm going to just tell you the truth. For those of you out there saying yes, somebody said, no, somebody said, yes, I got a call from my dude in Yemen. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you the truth. They ignore you because somebody, if you answer this question, whoever answered this question right, I'm giving you a free session. All right? Just get in contact with me. Okay, so everybody that said no, I see y'all. Everybody that said no, I see y'all. Get this video a thumbs up if, if you're rocking with what I'm saying right now. But listen, listen. She said her mom came by. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. 
You a, you a privileged individual if your mama came by. You are very... I just want to say this one more time. If your mama called you, if your daddy called you this morning, you are very privileged. And don't take that shit for granted. All right? But anyway... Okay, so everybody that said no, I want to ask you this question. And if you get it right, I'm going to give you a free session with me. Free 15-minute session. Whoever say it, whoever typed the right thing in, I'm giving them a free 15-minute session, all right? Okay, so y'all that said no, they ignore you because what? Why? Why did they ignore you? Somebody just said. Somebody said, I'm looking. I'm looking. Why they ignore you? Nope, nope. There you go. He got it. He got it. He got it. Hioka. Hioka. Hioka Gotti. I don't know who you is, but send me an email right now with your same name in the top. She got it. Because we chosen, yo. Because we chosen. We chosen. We chosen. She got it in like 0.1 seconds. She got a free session with Big Brother in 15 minutes. Turn your mother... Headphones to the tenor. Turn that bedna to the tenor. Turn your TV to the tenor. Tell everybody, shh, be quiet. We talking business. We talking business. This is a big brother trend, man. One oh five. It ain't even posted on it. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you another reason why people ignore you, Starseed. Okay? Let's get this video up to a a 600 likes. Get this video another thumbs up. If you just tuning in, it's your big brother, Tran, man. We're trying to get this video up to 673 likes, all right? So if you're in here right now, just press the button. Get it up to 673 likes. We're up to $204. Let's get this shit up to $1,000 for the channel for Big Bro, man. I'm trying to get some new equipment and shit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and donate to my channel if you feel it on your heart, man. If I've been helping you, just give back. That's all I ask. I just want a new camera. Shit, I just want a new camera. I don't want nothing. Y'all see me? I wear dog tags, nigga. I ain't got no VVSs on. <laughs> I got on dog tags. I took these off a dog. <laughs> Listen, man. Y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Another reason why they don't want to give you the acknowledgement and the credit is because they don't want you to earn more points than you already got. All right? You got to realize, chosen one, star seed. As a chosen one, as a star seed, you already came into this world like well off. You already came into this world better off. You already came into this world just having more potential than an average person. You are not like the average person. All right? So when people like turn their heads up at you and they just walk away and just, they see you there. They see you there. They see you. And see, here's the funny thing about it. They'll look at you to, to let you know that they there. But they will try to play you in front of your face, shit. They'll try to play you right in front of your face and try to ignore you. You know what I mean? Because you confident, because you look good, because you smell good, because you look like a god that they would marry. But since you look like, since you look like the god that she would marry, she going to treat you like all the gods that she buried. Huh? Ain't that some funny shit? That's some funny shit. But I'm just telling you, see, I'm just, don't get mad at me. I'm just the truth teller. I just tell the truth. She'll get mad at you. Minnie Moss, stop messaging me. You know I'm on live. Oh, that's the hey God. See, she hit me up on the messages like, I was the one that, I was the one that got it right. Oh, huh. listen. She will do, listen, bro, listen. The reason why most of these girls ignore you, it ain't that you don't have what they desire. You have all the qualities. You got a job. You successful. You in shape. You got good health. You got your own car. Or you can get around. You got a place to stay. You're not a mama's boy. You're not a beta male. You're an alpha male. But the reason why she don't really want to give you to play like that is because she ignore you because she intimidated by you, bro, because... She not, she, she just in a position to where she don't know how to handle that shit yet. A lot of women say that they ready for something real, but when the shit approach them, 
it just slip out their hands and go to the next girl. Because, listen, a lot of people ain't ready for, a lot of people ain't ready for the blessing when it come. A lot of people miss their blessings. Y'all know that, right? And guess who get all the blessings? If whoever get all this shit, if we get this shit right next time, I'm going to give you another free session too. Who get all the blessings? Come on. This ain't rocket science. Who get all the blessings? Come on. Chosen one. I got you. Somebody got that right. Uh, Nameshi Bali. Comment, uh, com compliment, not compliment me or comment me. See, this bread bull got me talking different languages and stuff. I'm... I'm talking in multi-languages. I'm bilingual now, okay? But send me an email right now, Bali, and say that you got that answer right, okay? But listen, um, <clears throat> a lot of people want to be on your level. They want to be on your level. So when they finally see you and they see that, they see that you on the level that they want to be on, here they go. And then they, and then what they do is they get home behind closed doors. They like, oh, damn, I wish I should have talked to him. I wish I should have talked to him, man. Damn, I wish he had the he had the shirt on that I wanted. He had the, he had the girl that I wanted. Damn, man, he had everything. He with that dude, man. He with that dude. Damn, he with that dude. I should have got the way he got his number, man. But see. The whole time they were hating on you and trying to ignore you in the moment. See, these people don't know how to live in the moment, dog. They don't know how to live in the moment. They don't know how to be grateful for the moment. So they they get off. I'm going to say that again. They get off on throwing you shade in the moment because in the moment it makes them feel good. Okay? That's why a lot of girls don't got no man. Because in the moment they throwing all this shade, they emotional. In the moment they throwing all this shade, it make them feel good. Hmm. No, no, you're not gonna do it like this. I ain't gonna do it like this. Bah, talk to the hand, faith don't understand type of shit. Okay, go back home, sit home again. You be bored, don't have nothing to do. Like, man, I wish I still have stayed with him. Man, we were going out, we were eating steaks, we was going to see birds, we was going to the zoo. Ah, oh, man, I'm back at home now. All because in the moment, you tried to ignore somebody. You tried to make them feel inadequate. You tried to make them feel like they wasn't up to value or up to the level, right? You tried to make them feel like their sexual market value was low, but you know this shit is high, all right? See, you are very, see, as a chosen one, see, it don't matter how you look as a chosen one. Give this video a thumbs up if you're in here right now. You just not tuning in to Big Brother Trend Genius. Listen, this is Super Chat. Go ahead and donate to the channel right now. I need some more equipment. You see, I need some more equipment. I'm naked. Y'all leaving me naked. I don't got no likes. I don't got no likes. I don't got no special effects coming across the screen for this, nobody to see y'all as ones that's giving Super Chats. Y'all leaving me broke. Y'all leaving me broke, man. And y'all supposed to be the star seeds, but y'all leave me broke. I'm sipping on Red Bulls. I need to be sipping on some champagne or something. God damn. Shit. My nose breaking down and shit. Y'all ain't taking care of me. Y'all know how much this damn cream costs? This shit costs $200. Y'all is not taking care of me. <laughs> y'all know how Hey, y'all know I be messing with y'all, man. This your big brother train, man. Y'all know I be fucking with y'all, man. I just, I just like to play jokes, man. I'm, I'm just a joking guy, man. But anyway, listen. Another reason why people ignore you too. Listen. Another reason why people ignore you too is because they, they, they competing with you for attention. See, some people they see that you got all the attention. You know what I mean? Listen, listen. When you walk in a room, right? When you walk in a room and you see. Like when you walk in a club or you walk in a room or you walk in a lounge or the hookah lounge or you walk into the bowling alley, wherever you want to go, okay? When you walk into these places, most people is looking to see who is all the eyes on. They scanning that shit. They, and they see you. They say, oh. They say, oh, well, that's the one right there. Everybody, y'all looking at her. You looking at her too? She, she the one. She the chosen one. See, everybody be looking at the chosen one. So everybody be looking at the chosen one. And so when they when they finally see you look at them, here they go. <laughs> they 
They be trying so hard not to give you no points because they know you winning. Listen. They try not to give you no points. They say you winning. Listen. They, here they go. Here they go. They don't want you to get no points. Here they go. Y'all, that's the chosen one right there. Y'all looking at the chosen one. That's the chosen one. Hey, right, let me look at the chosen one. Oh, she see me. I ain't looking at you. They know you winning. Listen, they be hating like a mug. They be hating, man. Listen. It's a big brother turn. I got to stretch out a little bit. Man, I'm out here in, uh, I'm out here in Phoenix, Arizona, man. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, it's a vibe out here, man. It's a vibe. Uh, shouts out to all my Arizona people, man. Shouts out. He said they be getting scared. He said they be getting scared. I'm going to tell you another thing. Listen, listen, listen. Get this video a thumbs up if you tuned in. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Get this video a thumbs up if you tuned in. Man, they jealous of you. They jealous of you. They can't stand the fact that you do it so good. They can't stand the fact that you dance so good. They can't stand the fact that you draw real good. They can't stand the fact that you articulate your words so good. They're like, why you talking like that? Why you got to use um, fancy words? Like, damn, I just said uh, police department. <laughs> like, goddamn, I just, I just said curtains. The way the curtains are supposed to be spelled. It's curtains. It's curtains. I just said curtains. Curtains. I C U R T A I N S. Why you spell so good? I spell good because I don't want you to cast a spell on me. All right. Listen, man. It's your big brother trend genius, man. Listen, man. So these people is competing for attention. They competing for attention with you. All right. Anytime you go out, you gotta keep in mind when you go out after this video, or if you out right now, people that's around you. People that's around you right now, wherever you at, they is competing for your attention. Hey, thank you for that super chat, my friend. People is competing for your attention because when you walk into the presence of, of the thousands of people, hundreds of people, 50 people, 20 people, when you walk into the presence of a restaurant, it's all about energy, y'all. Energy, energy. This whole world, everything is vibrating and oscillating. This TV is oscillating. This iPad is oscillating. This Red Bull is oscillating at a very low oscillation. You know what I mean? But I'm drinking it because it balances me out because I'm high vibe, working high, so I just, I'm just drinking a little bit. But real talk, everybody's competing with you for your energy. See, you vibe so high sometimes and they notice that. See, they can feel it in their spirit. They can feel it in their soul. It ain't nothing that they can even fathom. They can't even explain it. You ever just looked at somebody and just been like, nah, they lying. And you don't even know for a fact whether or not they lying, but how can you tell that they lying? Because you can see that they vibration low when they say what they say, all right? And somebody that's talking and telling the truth, they, them the ones that are telling the truth because their vibration is high. But you always know when somebody lying to you because they tell a lie in a very low vibration. They be like, nah, I ain't do it. I ain't do it. But I do know who did do it, and you might need to go down there See, if I was you, I'd go down there and knock on the door and see if they, they stole it because, uh, you know, I ain't do it. But, you know, I'm just letting you know who really did it. Nigga, you did it! Your vibration is low. Another reason why people ignoring you, too, is because they got jealousy in their heart, folks. All right? You might have friends. You might have, you might have a best friend. You might have friends around you or whatever. You might think that they're your real friends. You might think that they're really there for you. You know, you think, think that they love you because y'all like to hang together. Y'all like to shop together. You know, y'all both married. Y'all both married. You know, y'all both baby mamas. Whatever. <laughs> Since y'all both baby mamas, she's like, oh, yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. She look out for me. She call me whenever I need some gas money. Whatever. She might not be your real friend. She might have jealousy in her heart, okay? She probably don't want to see you do good. And see, some of y'all, some of y'all cannot advance because y'all still worried about the people that's ignoring y'all. Y'all still worried about your family. 
Some of y'all can't advance because y'all still worried about your mom and your daddy. Y'all still worried about your family. Y'all still worried about what my family think about me. What my family and my family and daddy. What my aunt know them. My cousins over there, they don't recognize I'm the chosen one. They don't like me. They don't like me. I know they ain't looking at me. They ain't know nobody saying nothing about my business. So who gives a shit? That's why some of y'all ain't advancing. That's why some of y'all still on level one. Because y'all still worried about what y'all auntie and y'all uncle think about y'all. Listen, they already telling y'all in they face, your face, they don't give a damn about you. Period, nigga. Huh? They'll tell you in your face. Nigga, I don't give a damn. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care about your business. I don't care if you want to be successful. I don't care. That's why I ain't called you. That's why I don't support your business. That's why I don't give you no money. That's why I don't care about your, your, your husband or your, your wife. I don't care. Because if it ain't benefiting me, it don't got nothing to do with me because I'm, I'm focused on myself. I ain't worried about you. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. So I don't care what you got going on. And then you over there still like, well, 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 you know, I need some attention. I want to, I want to know if they, if they care about me. You need a therapist. You need to get you a therapist. And that's big brother trend. That's why I be telling y'all, book your square sessions with me. Book your square sessions with me. All right. Go to my, go to, go to one of my previous videos and book a square session with me. And I will help you through that trauma because it's trauma that you are dealing with. You dealing with trauma. If you feeling anxiety or something because of your family and because your family not giving you recognition or credibility or they're not noticing, you know, like all your all your accolades and everything that you're doing and it's affecting your future. You need therapy. Whether you believe it or not, every great person, every successful person has another person to motivate them. All right. Every coach has a coach. Every motivator. Does they not? Every coach has a coach, right? Every, every, every mentor has a mentor. Every guru has a guru. Every painter has somebody that inspires them. All right? Every basketball player has another basketball player that they looked up to. Oh, I like Michael Jordan. I like LeBron James. All right? If you need therapy, that's, listen, if you're becoming successful, you're going to start to understand that in your life, you cannot do this by yourself. All right? For some of y'all that's scared to, uh, to connect with people, to, to get a, connected with people, to, uh, you, know, uh, 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 you know, have a, a trainer, personal trainer, you know, lose weight, somebody, a psychologist, a therapist, a counselor, you got to have this shit. Because listen, successful people don't work. Shit, I can't remember the last time I worked. I can't. I remember, I remember I used to, I used to uh, move furniture. I used to move furniture into people's houses that didn't have homes. I used to help homeless people. Before I started doing YouTube, I used to help homeless people. But that was how many years ago? It's about four years ago. You know why? Because I started to say to myself, I can't do this by myself. I need to go to somebody that can actually help me. So I started, I started investing in myself and booking people that will help me to become YouTube, to become a life coach, to become my greatest version. And look what that investment got me to today. See, that's the thing you don't understand, Star C. See, see, people ignoring you, people ignoring you because, you know, they might call you bougie. They might call you too fancy. They might say you bougie or you fancy or you think you all that. But the reason why they calling you bougie or, they, or you fancy is not because you really think that you all that. It's just that you at another level than them. They not on that level yet. They admire you and they want to be on. They want to be bougie. That's why they come up with this crazy, stupid ass word, bougie. What the fuck does bougie mean? It don't mean shit. It's like somebody scrambled letters up: a B, a O, a U, a J, a G, a E, a E. That shit ain't even a damn word in the damn real dictionary. They created the shit. To scrutinize people who really think highly of themselves. There's no such thing as boozy. There's no such thing as being uh, 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 fancy. 
Shit, God said to himself, I want everybody to be abundant and prosperous. God said to himself, I can bless you more than enough. More, more than enough. He didn't say, I want you to have enough. He said, I want to bless you more than enough. You know what I mean? So you got people around you that think that you bougie. They think you bougie or whatever. The reason why they call you these names and they talk down on you in the moment, the spirit of the moment, is because they admire you. They wish they was on that level. But see, they don't know how to be humble enough or they don't know how to have the humiliation to come ask you, how did you do it? What did you do to get there? But instead, they ignore you. And you know what God do in front of your haters face? He continue to bless you over and over and over again. You are so blessed if you tuned in to this video right now. Don't you feel it? You feel it? You feel it? You feel it? You blessed right now. And you know you blessed. You know you blessed. <laughs> Fellas, give me a big hug, man. Give me a hug, man. You know you blessed, man. You know you. All my fellas know they hold. Man, I'm blessed, man. Man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. My big brother Trent told me I'm blessed, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. This your big brother Trent Genius, man. Thank you, young Erasure, for your 10 thousand dollar donation i appreciate that man listen i'm gonna tell you another reason why people ignore you all right people ignore you give this video a thumbs up you in here we almost at a thousand likes we almost at a thousand live people get this video hey share this video to somebody right now who need it share this video right now to somebody who need it just go just share it just hit the share button at the very bottom of this video and say hey big brother on live Shh, be quiet Listen, y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen. I'm going to tell you another reason why people ignore you. Another reason why people ignore you is because they guilty. Hmm. Some people harboring so much self-guilt. Some people hate themselves so much that they can't even look an angel in the face. Because you, you angelic. Have you ever thought, have you ever started to think to yourself, yo, I'm supernatural. Like, I'm very, like, see, you a chosen one. You a chosen one. All right? You a star seed. Why you think that all these terms and shit apply to you? You a star seed, indigo, Christian children, chosen one. The reason why you think this, the reason why you think this is because he said, he said, beacon of light. He said, I'm a beacon of light. See, all these work. Abundance, relaxation, say real deal, life angel. Exactly. See, the reason why you think this is because you are an angel. You angelic. Okay? Star sea angel, beacon of light, light being, light worker, whatever you call it. You are angel. Some people say fallen angels or whatever. That shit, that's bullshit. They just want you to, once again, the world always demonetize something that's good, dog. Why? The world always dehumanize and demonetize something that's good. Fallen angel, whatever, ain't no bullshit. That's bullshit shit. That's bullshit. You an angel. You an angel. Come in and say, I'm an angel. See, you got superhuman abilities, okay? You, some of y'all need to start, some of y'all need to start doing this shit. Y'all, some of y'all need to start changing this water into wine. That's why I got this, because I'm about to change this shit into wine. Some of y'all need to start doing this. Somebody, some of y'all need to start doing this. Listen, I'm about at the end of this video. Sue and Light said, I'm an angel. Don't you get what you want? Don't things always go your way? Don't when you speak things into existence, it's always come to pass? Don't when you use affirmations, you always get what you want. Ain't you about to have a good day after this video? Somebody comment and just say, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good day today. We're going to have a good day today. Despite the circumstances, despite what's going on, despite the situations, despite what's, what's happening in your life right now, it doesn't matter. The universe is always working for you. Divine powers is always working for you because we do right. It's that simple. You know, so I'm just want to tell y'all all this, man, because um, 
this is why people ignore you, man, okay? So remember this. Somebody said awesome day. Good things come. Okay, okay, I see. See, y'all got to start realizing who y'all, y'all got to start remembering who y'all are when y'all go out. Some of y'all be forgetting. Some of y'all be booking sessions with me. Y'all be like, big bro, like, what? It's the, that this that happened, this and that and the third. Cause y'all forgot. Y'all be forgetting. Y'all gotta walk out here with the with the with the audacity of a king. Like you, wherever you go, dog, you gotta wherever you go, dog, that's how you gonna get your opportunities. That's how you gonna get your breaks. That's how you gonna get the money to start flowing, bro. You gotta walk like you are already the shit. You gotta walk like you already the shit, man. And some of y'all girls be scared to show who y'all truly is to. Show who your show who you truly is. Stop trying to be like all these uh, uh, celebrities. Be yourself. Shit, who gonna be the next Erica Badu? Shit, Erica Badu comfortable with being Erica Badu. She's comfortable with being weird. When the, when the next girl gonna step up and be weird? Cause weird is beautiful. I be on Erica Badu page all the time. Here you go. Soon as she take a picture with her ass out like that, I be like, hey, man, I ain't know you. I ain't know you were sexual. I thought you was just some more. I thought she was just smart. I thought she was just intelligent. But see, Erica Badu is not scared of being herself. Unlike most of y'all girls out here. Y'all following trends and shit. Men attracted to different shit. Men attracted to somebody different. I'm going to give y'all the key ingredients to a man. If you can't understand this shit, then you never supposed to understand it. Three things that a man want. My ladies out there, my star seed ladies, my Palladians, my Syrians, my angels, my galactics. It's three things a man want. Sex, peace, and sandwiches. If you can't understand that shit, then you're not supposed to have a man. Shouts out to all my fellas out there. Shouts out to all my fellas out there, man. I know they hating on you. I know they know you. My dude Quinny say, I'm listening to your live right now. My nigga, why you gonna send me a live right now? You I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Why do you send messages and why do you call people and why you send messages when you know the guy that you're sending the message to is live? <laughs> I love y'all star seeds, man. I love you, though, bro. I love you. Appreciate that, though. I got you, bro. I got you on a session after this phone call, man. Or, shit, you thinking I'm already on the phone call. See, y'all be twisting big brother up when y'all be sending these messages and stuff. Y'all know I'm live, man. Listen, it's your big brother, man. Damn. Can I go have a good day, y'all? Can I go have a good day? I'm gonna go have a good day. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the mall and I'm gonna get me some nice clothes and I'm gonna make these Decepticons hate because I know they want to relate and I know they want to date, but I know they fake. So I'm gonna wait and I'm just gonna chill and I'm just gonna do me until I finish this Red Bull. <laughs> I'm a clown, dog. I'm a clown. If you in here right now, give this video a thumbs up, man. It's your big brother, Trey and G. We live, man. We live. I see y'all. Uh, Kelly says, do you, big brother? Da -da -da, started my YouTube platform. Okay, I see y'all. I see y'all. Comment if you got a question, man. I want to read some of your questions real quick before I get up off here. This is a super chat. If you want to donate to the channel. If Big Bro been giving you the advice of your life, make sure that you donate by giving me a super chat right now, man. I would gladly appreciate that. And the money gonna come back to you. You already know how we roll. We star seeds. We chosen ones. We always get it back anyway. She said, do I know who Reverend Mike is? I know who Reverend Mike is. Oh, shit. I'm subscribed to Reverend Mike. You can't copy flavor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read that again. Uh, you can't copy flavor, but you can't copy favor. I know that's right. Amen, sister. Amen. 
Some of y'all done brought that religion shit into the spiritual world. Okay. Chosen ones came from religion. Some of y'all chosen ones came out of religion. Some of y'all came out of Muslim. Some of y'all came out of Christian. Some of y'all came out of Krishna. Some of y'all came out of Pentecost. Some of y'all came out of Catholic. I feel you. Now you made it. You made it. You made it, and now your whole family hates you. Now your whole family ignore you. <laughs> ain't that some shit? Ain't that some? Ain't that some shit? Whole family ignore you now. Damn. Where they do that at? It's because you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You won. It's your big brother Trenji. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. This video has been a pleasure. Y'all caught me live for the first time, man. Y'all caught me live for the first time. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Give this video a thumbs up if it's resonated with you this whole entire time. I was on here for 60 minutes today. Ain't that an hour in mathematic terms, producer? That's an hour. Okay. I was on here for an hour and, well, actually going on an hour and I don't know how to tell me. I don't know math. I suck at math, but I'm a star seed. It's crazy because we star seeds, we very smart, but we don't even know imperial shit. We don't know imperial shit. We don't know language arts. <laughs> we don't know mathematics. We don't know English. We don't know science or history, but we smart. We can tell your energy right or wrong. <laughs> Last time I checked, that's all that matters. Listen. Y'all got to say it with me one more time before y'all leave, man. Listen, listen. Shouts out to Lori Haynes for that 499 donation. I appreciate that, man. I'm gonna take that and go get me some sushi. Shouts out to whoever gave me that hundred dollar donation. I'm gonna take that and go. Uh, I'll probably get me another microphone for my camera. Y'all don't know. I got equipment. I got real equipment over here, man. I got equipment everywhere. You want to supply? You want to supply my brigade of equipment? Just give me a super chat. Donate to my channel, man. I gladly appreciate it. Anything, man. It's your big brother, Trinis. Uh, Let me give one more shout out. Let me get one more shout out before I go. Okay, let me get one more shout out. Come on, who, who I'm going to get a shout out to? Let me, give, let me give a shout out to one last person. Let me give a shout out to this person right here because that was the stupidest shit I ever seen. Shout out to Larry Potter for saying, this not live, but the video is good. Shout out to you, man. That was some stupid shit that a star seed was, should not say. I'm gone, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. It's your big brother, Trend G, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, man. Get out my, get out my video, man. Get out my video. Y'all making me mad.